was a little 10 year old girl who lived in a small village in the Himalayas. She lived with her mother and brother. She was a sturdy girl, had a fair skin with pink cheeks, dark eyes and her black hair tied into a pigtail. She wore glass bangles and a necklace made up of glass beads with a leopard's claw on it. The leopard's claw is considered to be a lucky charm. So Binya never took it off. The family had two cows which Binya would often take for grazing. One day when Binya was walking with her cows, she came across a group of holiday makers from the plains. The group of holiday makers had spread a big sheet and had displayed different kinds of food on it. Binya left the cows to graze and went towards them. Ooh. What a magnificent place this is! And what a great spot for a picnic! Yes, it's so beautiful and big It's perfect for a relaxing day. The breeze is so cool and soothing. So calm and peaceful. Just going to sit down here and relax for a while. If you want, both of you can go around. Okay, father. Uh, okay, Father. I will be keeping my umbrella over here. Please take care of it. Yes, yes. That's her favorite. Take care that the wind doesn't blow it away. Don't worry. I'll take care. Moreover, the breeze is not very strong. It will not fly away. The young woman leaves her umbrella near the old man and they walk a few yards in front, admiring the view in front of them. Just then, Binya walks from behind the bushes. She tries to get close to them to get a better look at them. She looks at all the food displayed. Her mouth starts watering. Then, she spots the umbrella. It is a beautiful bright blue umbrella and Binya takes a fancy to it almost instantly. Wow! They have so much yummy looking food to eat. Wish I could have some. What a beautiful umbrella. Wish I could have it. Let me get a better look at that pretty thing. As Binya comes out of her hiding, the old man notices her. Who are you, little one? Where are you from? I'm from the village in the mountains. Oh, that's interesting. Come closer. Don't be scared. Come here. I'll not do anything to you. Are you hungry? Do you want something to eat? No, I don't want food. Then what do you want, little one? Come and take a look at this village girl. The old man calls out to the young woman and the young man, asking them to come and take a look at the village girl. The both of them come running towards the old man and Binya. Who oh, is this girl? She's a village girl from the mountains. They are very far in the hills. Give her something to eat. I offered her some food, but she refused to eat anything. What's that on her neck? It's a necklace of some sort. It's a necklace with a tiger's claw on it. It's a lucky charm. The village that will give away evil spirits. Oh, I would want to. You know, you could get these things in any of the shops in the city. But, for me to be. She will definitely give me the money. The young man hands over some money to Binya, pointing at her necklace. But Binya refuses to take the money. The young man, embarrassed, offers her a 5 rupee note. But Binya refuses to take that too. 
The young man, puzzled, gestures to Binya as to what she wants and Binya points to the umbrella. She wants her umbrella. My umbrella? She wants my umbrella? Oh, how cheeky. But you asked for something that belongs to her. Is that fair? But, but that's different. Okay girl, go away. No, but I want that pendant. Fine. Take the umbrella. The young woman picked up her umbrella and gave it to Binya. Binya removed her necklace and gave it to the young woman who immediately put it around her neck. Binya took the umbrella from her hand and started walking down the hill without giving the picnickers a second look. Binya walked down the road with her umbrella in her hand. All the picnickers looked at her in surprise, including Parosa, who has a seesaw in the corner of the hill. Grandpa Rosa was particularly astonished to see Binya's beautiful blue umbrella. Mara, Binya's friend, comes running. Towards Binya. Binya? Binya, where are you? Oh, your mother is looking for you. It's almost gonna get dark. And, and where are the cows? Mama, Mama, I am just on my way home. Need to and Bonnie are grazing on the new party. Come on, let us take them on our way home. Okay. Your hand. It looks very nice. I noticed. Look at the bright color and the design on it. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, it really is. Hey, Binya, what do you have there? That's a lady's umbrella. It is meant only for the men, Shah. Where did you get it from? Someone gave it to me in exchange for my necklace. What? You gave away your lucky pendant? Won't your mother be angry with you? This umbrella is not meant for the hearts and all the rings. It is only a plaything for ladies. Tell you what, I will buy this umbrella. I will give you five rupees. I you will get 5 rupees? <laughs> Let me know what I am going to do with the umbrella. <laughs> it is worth 15 rupees. Rambarosa tries its best to bargain with Binya. But Binya is not ready to part with her umbrella. She just smiles at him and raises a 5 paise coin on the counter. So saying, she continues to walk down the road reading from the market place. All the people look at the umbrella in awe. Though they found reasons to say it was useless, they were curious of Binya's beautiful blue umbrella. Three the children like Mala were looking at the umbrella and awe and they put a praise for it. And Binya was always nice enough to share it with them. Binya and Mala skipped and hopped past the marketplace, exchanging the umbrella among them. Binya had Ma Mala hid on the umbrella for some time. As they were nearing Binya's house, she gave it back to Binya, waved to her and headed off. Binya walked around the marketplace and reached the house and showed the umbrella to her brother Biju and her mother. Where did you get such a beautiful umbrella from? Did you steal it from someone? Ah, Binya will not do such things. You be quiet Biju. Tell me, Binya, did you fight with anyone to get this? No, Mama. I exchanged my necklace with a few picnickers who had come to the mountains. Oh, okay. Next day, Biju walks up from school. The hand like put berries that he had picked from the trees along the way from school. On the way, he passes Ramparosa's shop. Biju. Oh, Biju! Yes, Ram Kaka. What do you want to have today, Biju? Sir, I have no money. That is okay, young lad. 
you can tell me later no sir it's okay thank you ram barosa had set his heart on the blue umbrella and he wanted to get it for himself by some way or the other so he was naturally waiting for an opportunity to give credit to either of the children but sadly for him neither of the th- neither of them had fallen in the trap biju walks towards his house and sees binya on his way biju gives her some berries and binya gives him the umbrella as a reward for getting her the berries that she likes so much both of them walk home after eating her berries binya takes back the umbrella from biju suddenly it starts raining biju runs to take shelter under a tree Binya stands in the rain with her umbrella. What happened? Why are you running there? Don't you like to get wet? Yeah, yes, I do. But I don't want my school books to get wet. You two come under this tree. That umbrella is not going to help you. Biju, I am testing the umbrella. Binya stood for some time in the rain to see if the umbrella could hold up. Much to her surprise, the umbrella did hold up and only her feet got wet. She called out to Biju. Did you did you see I am not getting wet this umbrella works and it is able to hold up the rain Yes Binya I can see Did you I don't think the rain is going to stop let us just slowly walk back home and leave the umbrella Are you sure I don't want my books to get wet Don't worry wait let me come back so that you can come into the umbrella Minya goes up to Biju and he enters the umbrella with her and they both go home. Both soon had set in and school was closed for the rainy season. This did not mean that Biju was free as his mother always had lots of work for him in the house. Biju! Biju! Come here son. Yes mother. I have just finished milking the cows. Today we've got one liter of milk. Can you please go and sell half a liter to the village schoolmaster and half a liter to the village priest? Yes, mother. I'll leave just now. Make sure you get the money for the milk, Biju. Yes, ma. I will. Biju leaves the house with the can of milk. Binya runs out of the house and catches up with her brother. They walk together. Biju with the milk can and Binya with her umbrella. They pass by Ram Bharosa's shop. Although the umbrella had faded slightly due to being exposed to the sun and the rain, still it was very attractive. And Ram Bharosa still desired it. Ram Bharosa had asked Biju earlier to work in a shop during the holidays, but Biju had said he had to help his mother. So Ram Bharosa hired a boy called Raja Ram from the neighboring village to work for him. Biju, you go and sell the milk. I'm going up the mountains to the forest to see where I saw the umbrella first. Oh, okay. Be careful. Come back soon, and we we'll go home together. Oh, that umbrella! What happened, Babu ji? Oh, it is nothing. It is just sickness that has come upon me, and it's all due to that good Binya and the wretched umbrella. Why? What has she done to you? She refused to sell me an umbrella, and I offered her ten rupees. You have given her ten rupees. Nah, it is not you any. And not even worth eight rupees. But I still wish I could have it. But what use does the umbrella be to you? Oh, you numbskull! I want it just because I want the beautiful to, to be mine. Babu, will you give me my yellow umbrella for you? What do you mean? Don't you dare try to steal the umbrella. What will the village people think about me? Oh, you come in, Shala. Let us gaze upon it in secret. 
or you can have it painted in another color. But tell me, Babuji, do you really want it? The umbrella will be yours. You are a shy boy. I will give you two rupees. No, only three rupees. Okay, fine. I will give you three rupees if you are able to get that umbrella. Okay, Babuji. We'll get that umbrella for you. Raja Ram runs after Vidya and finds her in the forest glade. He finds Vidya holding on to the umbrella while looking for porcupine quills. She picks up around four to five quills and feels a hand getting pulled and places the umbrella on the ground and moves forward to pick up more quills. Seizing this opportunity, Raja Ram comes out of his hiding place behind the rocks picks up the umbrella and starts running down the mountain. Vidya turns to see someone running with her umbrella. She runs behind him shouting. As they come down the mountain, Vidya gains up on the boy. But the boy is too fast for her. Just then, Biju is seen coming in the opposite direction. He sees Vidya running. Vidya, Vidya, what happened? Why are you running? My umbrella! My umbrella, he has stolen it. Don't worry, I'll soon catch him. Biju followed the boy. He soon gains up on him and flings himself on Rajaram. Rajaram tries to get up and drag himself away, but Biju holds him by the leg. Fierce fight followed, with the boy stumble and roll over. Rajaram struggles, but is pinned down to the ground by Biju. Caught you. Let's fall and get up. Slash so umbrella. Then why did you take it in the first place? It was Ram Barosa who told me to get it for him. If I did it for him, he said I would lose my job. Did you let go of him? Raja Ram gets up and runs away. Biju and Binya leave with the umbrella. Soon, the news spread all over the village about Ram Barosa and the way he tried to steal Binya's umbrella. Everyone turned against the old man. They stopped trusting him and also stopped buying anything from his shop. Hearing this, Ram Barosa is struck with despair and feels ashamed for his actions. He was under a huge loss as he was not earning anything. So to save money, he dismissed Raja Ram. He was now all alone in his shop with no one to talk to. One day, Biju and Vidya passed by his shop. Biju did not pay any attention to him, but surprisingly, uh, Vidya stopped by the shop. Ram Barosa looked suspiciously at her. Vidya was his first customer in almost two weeks. Vidya quietly placed a coin on the counter. Sir, may I have a toffee? Ram Barosa gave Vinya the toffee. And by the time he turned to put the coin in the cash box, Vinya had left the shop, leaving the umbrella on the counter. Ram Barosa turned to see the umbrella on the counter. Binya, Binya, you left your umbrella. I don't want it anymore. You can keep it. But you love this umbrella. It is the best in the village. I know, but that umbrella is everything. Slowly, the village folk start coming back to his shop, and his business picks up again. Ram Barosa decides to give Vinya something to thank Kapil for getting the village to accept him again and bringing his business back on track. One day, he finds a claw on the ground somewhere in the outskirts of the forest. He takes it to a silversmith and makes a chain and locket out of it. Vinya, Vinya, come here. What do you think of this? It's beautiful. 
It's a bear's claw. It's even luckier than a leopard's claw. Would you like to have it? Yeah, but I have no money. That is okay. You gave me the umbrella for free. So I am giving you this. Thank you, sir.